2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Genesis Scottish Open is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam at the beautiful Renaissance Golf Club on the Scottish Gulf Coast, Rich, and this is a strong opener. It is. Scorecard yards is 465 yards. You have to avoid that bunker down the left-hand side off the tee. You find the fairway. It opens up the green. It kind of sits caddy corner to the players for their second shot. I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. And let's see what he can do here today. Well, what are we looking at with their approach shot, Rich? Green sits slightly above the players. There's bunkers dotting the front left and one just front right. If they do throw it to the left and long, it will come down a pretty good sized slope back onto the center of the green. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one is chewing fiber. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Uh, 18 footer here is what he's facing. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. Oh, just missed. And just a little bit of cleanup work remaining on this hole. And as we head to the second, Rich, the players heading back towards the first tee. Strong par four here, just under 500 yards. There's a bunker down the left-hand side you must avoid if you want a clear opening for your second shot. Narrow fairway up there. A good tee shot's a must. This shot is about 140 yards out. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. A wonderful shot, a chance for Purdy here at the second. This is looking solid, what they wanted. Oh, nice putt to make for a birdie. Currently one under for the event. As we head to the third hole, Rich, uh, one of the very good scoring opportunities here at the Renaissance Club. Yes, Luke, just about 600 yards or so. Players must hit it out to the left-hand side with their tee shots. Anything right is going to go into a huge cluster of trees where they're going to have all kinds of problems. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Flinch. That wasn't flushed. And here we are with the third shot. <laughs> 
Setting up here with a very long putt. This for a birdie birdie run. Oh, you know you want to. And you hold it. What a monster. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. And as we take a look at the fourth hole, the shortish par four, Rich. Yes, just around the 415 yard mark, players who take out driver and drive it up into the narrow section of the fairway will get a really good look with their second shots. Yeah, that one will play. Sitting at two under. Well, that'll set up a birdie bid, Rich. Amazing shot. Guaranteed birdie for this player. Job done. Let's head to the next. And with that, he'll move to three under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The fifth hole reach a, a really good risk-reward short four. Most players, Luke, should go for this short par four, but watch out for the green because this green has got all kinds of danger on it. Twist, turns, bobs, weaves, ducks, it's got it all. Second shot here on the fifth. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. And the first of our short holes here at the Renaissance Club, Rich, is the par three sixth. Oh, this is a nasty little par three dotted by some pot bunkers on the front part of it. A big one over there on the right hand side. Club selection is imperative. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Let's catch up with Willie Z. He's always a flusher. I got to say, he is not afraid to go beautiful. Great putt. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? Trying to get to five under with this putt. And down it goes. And that will take him to five under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And the seventh on the card, Rich, our second of the uh, opening nine par fives. Yeah, look, a fairly generous driving area. There's just a couple of bunkers you have to worry about. However, you find the fairway. Now your chances of making birdie are better. 
increase significantly. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. This shot coming from around 220 yards. Opting for the hybrid, I think. They've decided to club up. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. So exciting to have an eagle putt here. Oh, so close. That'll sting a bit. I think they gave that one too much respect. They didn't want to hit it too hard and go racing past the hole. Currently at six under par overall. And Rich, as we face the eighth hole, what kind of decisions do the players face off the tee? Well, most players aren't able to carry those fairway bunkers basically right in the middle of the fairway. So they have to lay up with a three wood or less, find the fairway that cambers pretty significantly from left to right. Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. Well, that's certainly worth another look. Let's take a look at the replay. Oh, that's a sensational moment. Mark that down as a highlight today. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Opting for the 9-9. Nine -nine. Well, got some sort of streak going on here. Greens in regulation. What a statistic. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Always nice to have a birdie putt. So far, so good. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And that will take him to seven under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The ninth is a strong par three. Reach one of the longer ones. It is. There's some bunkers on the right-hand side that you absolutely must avoid. If you miss it on the left-hand side, however, you've got a pitch uphill to a green that will slope away from you. A par here is a really good score. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. From the sand, looking to get up and down. And back to the play, shall we? 12 feet to the cup coming up. This is what they have left for birdie here. What a putt started this perfectly. That gets the job done. And that will take him to eight under. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. As we begin the second nine, Rich, the uh, back nine starts with a par five. And a par five that players should be looking to take advantage of. Just tee it up and hit it as hard as you can. Fairway is wide open. Does camber from right to left. So don't get too frisky down that left-hand side. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he?
Time for the second shot at the 10th. Going with the hybrid. That was a beauty right against the hole. And this player is really going after it here, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. And this putt to move into the top 20. Oh, yeah, this is tracking nicely. Well, how good is that for the Eagle? Trailing by seven after that hole. Rich, I know this next hole is one of your favourites, the 11th here at the Renaissance Club. This is one of the coolest holes I've ever played, Luke. It's a dog leg from left to right. Fairly generous team area. Don't want to miss it too far right, however. But the second shot into the screen, this could be the coolest green I've ever seen. It's got more movement than any other green I've seen in competition. I absolutely love this hole. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Now he's eyeing up around 160 here. Going with the 9-iron, nine nine, I think. He's got this thing dialed in here. Looking good. Well, that's a great shot. And a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Five feet coming up to the cup. on a good line super shot that John what's going on out there hey guys we're checking in with Xander Shoffley as he gets set for his next shot here on the 14th Ooh, that is a touch of class from the bunker well that's going to have some impact on the scoreboard let's take a look the leader now has a one stroke advantage The 12th, Rich, uh, par three, just over 200 yards on the card. You back uphill just a little bit. What really makes this hole difficult, Luke, though, is when the wind is coming directly in the player's face. When that happens, ooh, watch out. This hole is a doozy. And choosing the eight iron here. Nice shot that. That should find the surface. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot.
punt is underway. The punt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's in a share of 12th place. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Another beautiful hole ridge. This one right along the coast, the 13th. Oh, this is breathtaking off the tee, isn't it? But don't let the views suck you in. Even though it's a wide fairway, you got to hit it down the right-hand side as this fairway pitches significantly from right to left. Find the fairway and happy days. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Outstanding shot. High quality. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Lining up for his second. Nailed it. Okay, time to return to the action. Spot the top ten on the line here if they can hold this. Oh, well, hold. He'll take the birdie. That's a good way to move into the top ten. He's currently sharing eighth position. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, absolutely flushed. What's in front of them, Henny? This one will run uphill. It's going to. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? This is a par putt. Let's go to John Rahm. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. Oh, yeah. What a shot that was. That'll help make a big move. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. That's a good looking shot there. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Currently four shots off the pace. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. That should set up another chance. this part here to get to 14 under the card their short game has been very impressive they've been really sharp today oh that's a ripper
trailing by a few shots after that hole. Just a few holes remaining in the round. The 16th hole, one of the last true birdie chances, Rich. It is. Tee it high and let it fly there, Luke. Don't go down the left-hand side and find any of those bunkers. Hit it down the right-hand side, and you got to believe you're going to make, at worst, a birdie four. a boy good shot and what's in front of them there Henny well you can club down everything's all in front of you as it runs into this downhill green great looking shot this that was special here's a look at Bubba Watson from earlier this is how you do it, seven days a week. Nice putt to make that one. Chance to sneak into the top five here. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. Currently has a share of second place. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. All right, Rich, the 17th. This is an amphitheater style green. All sides kind of work back towards the green. There is a little front left section though, when they put the flagstick over there, you have a really good opportunity to hit it in there close. Four against the wind to stick that one. Let's take a look at this from just a couple of moments ago. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Well, that's high quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it, but for it to go in, that's awesome. Let's return to live play now. And this part to move into a share of first place. Hey, nice looking line. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. And as we make our way to the finishing hole here, Rich, how is this 18th at the Renaissance Club? This is an absolute brute, Luke, just under 500 yards, and you must find the fairway. You cannot geek it down this hole off the tee. There is danger both left and right. Well done. Taking aim from about 170 yards. He's currently tied for the lead. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. Now that's how you roll the rock. And with that putt, concludes this player's round.